Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be time for some Europa Universalis 4. It's going to be time for a new campaign here for today. We're going to be trying something very, very different. We're going to be playing as a country that I've never played as in my life. We're going to be playing in India. Now, I'm just kidding. I've actually played in India before, but I've never done it on YouTube. So now is time for an Indian campaign on YouTube. This is worth. This is with the... Um, Third Realm expansion, um, so, you know, I, I mean, I have all the expansions enabled, all the DLCs, all the expansions, everything, we, we literally have everything, so, let's play some, uh, let's play some countries, or a country in India, um, I give it a lot of thought, we're gonna be playing as Bamanis, so Bamanis is this, this blue guy, this blue guy right here, let's take a look at that, um, he has Bamani ideas, yearly armor tradition, plus 0 0.5, tolerance of heathens, 3, so we're really good at tolerance, which is nice, we do the Indian tech group, uh, we are a kingdom, and we are a Shia Sultanate, so we are actually uh, Muslim. We are Muslim in an all-Hindu continent. <clears throat> um, let's take a look here. Our leader is Allah Uddin Ahmad Shah II, 445. Apparently his age is 1458. <laughs> and then he's got a... He's got a yeah, he's got an error 334. Oh, interesting. We don't have a monarchy government form. We actually have an ICTA, which is national tax modifier income from vassals. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of different. That's interesting. All right. Sounds good. We've got 157 development, nine forts, or I guess nine fort level and 14 provinces. And uh, let's see. What are our ideas? Manpower recovery speed, yearly prestige, religious unity, max promoted cultures, trade efficiency, diplomatic reputation. Yearly legitimacy, and then idea cost. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. This should be a very, very unique experience. And uh, I don't really have a goal for this campaign, but I do want to try and become Sikh. So the Sikh religion will spawn sometime after the start date, if I remember correctly. And we will try and become Sikh. So let's do it. But modest, let's jump in. That is my goal for this campaign. Uh, Sikh. <laughs> All right, let's jump on in. I've actually never really played that much of, of any country here in India, so I don't know what it is we're going to find, but uh, we'll have a good time. <clears throat> let's see. Um, I do also have this map mod. It is graphical map improvements. Um, just leave me a comment if you want me to show you the link to the uh, Steam Workshop. This, that's where I got it from, from the Steam Workshop. So. Also, let me know if the, if it bothers you in any way. If you don't think it looks good or something, I can I can change it. But I think this this one, this um, map mod looks pretty beautiful. It looks pretty nice. So just let me know if it bothers you or something though, and I can uh, I can change it. Okay. So let's see. We got a couple decisions. Missionary strength, yes. National rest, yeah. Um, do we have any cores on anything? It looks like we have a few cores that have been stolen from us by Vishonagar. Okay. Um. We can attack Gujarat. He owns one of our cores. We could also choose to remove this dude. Who's uh he's a Hindu, he's a small Hindu state to our east. So let's let's get a mission to kill that dude. We can convert stuff. We have current piety 20. Being pious will get us morale of armies, but being unpious will give us technology cost, tax modifier, and national manpower modifier. So we have to play uh, a very balanced game. We'll have to figure it out. Let's see, we have two mi no, we have one missionary, never mind. So we will go ahead and start converting some stuff, I guess. Uh, do we make any money? We do, we make about five decades a month with full army maintenance. Um, what do we have here? We have Indian, Indian cavalry and Indian foot soldiers. Okay, let's grab, we can grab up to five more infantry, so we will just do that. Let's see, I got a question in the Twitch chat. Is this vanilla? Yes, it is. We're not doing any mods or anything today. Uh, we have a couple of rivals, Gujarat, Orissa, Vijayanagar, and Andhra. This guy, this guy, this guy, and then this guy. Okay. We will want to focus on Vijayanagar. We will also want to focus on... Orissa could be a pretty easy guy to attack. I think Andra, actually, we might want to go after him. We want to make sure that our rivals don't rival each... Or don't ally each other. That would be something to avoid. Um, let's, let's grab a general. 0001. Sure. It's the siege. I will, I will keep the siege. Okay, where are we collecting? Uh, looks like here in Goa. It belongs to Vijayanagar. Good to know. Hmm, where can we transfer trade power? I guess maybe let's transfer here. And anywhere else. Transfer anywhere else. What else comes in here? 
I guess we'll transfer trade power from up here. We looks like we do have, yeah, those those two merchants that were available. Okay, so let's invade this guy real quick. We can't declare any wars until next month. But uh, so far, it looks like we're actually pretty powerful for all things considered. Do I have a missionary strength guy by any chance? That would be really cool. You know, um, I could go to the Alima and I could have them give me maybe an Inquisitor. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Is that worth it? We can get some piety. Yeah, sure. Why not? We don't have enough um, influence at the current moment, but that's honestly okay. I'm I'm not too concerned with that. We'll probably find a uh, missionary strength guy a little later. Should we focus on any sort of technology group? I don't know. We do have feudalism. We just don't have the Renaissance. Hmm. All right. Hmm. I don't know. Should we focus on any points? I feel like we're going to be fighting a lot, so I feel like military might be something we need to focus on. Um, it's probably not a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking about it. Apparently, we can form Hindustan. That's pretty crazy. As as a as a Muslim nation, we can form Hindustan. That's pretty curious. Yeah, become an empire. All right, maybe we'll maybe we'll go after that. Although we do want to become Sikh, so that'll be something to do. Um. Yeah, we'll leave it alone for now. Maybe I will become, um, maybe I will focus probably on military points a little later, but for now we won't worry about it, actually. Yeah, let's just, let's just evade this guy. Um, let's give it a month. Let's, let's have some time go by. I imagine we're probably going to be attacked by Vigianiger or something. He's probably pretty strong. So we should consider who he allies. He's actually got, uh, quite a few allies. He also has a couple of vassals down here, so we do need to watch out for him. He could be, uh, a problem. Okay, why don't we invade this dude? He doesn't have any allies. Chandra. Or Chanda, I guess. That's his name. Alright, let's kill that guy. We only need four regiments. Let's get rid of all the cavalry. Alright. Let's siege that buddy down. We've got quite a few troops. We're going to want to take out these small states if we can. I think Gujarat has a couple vassals over here, so he's going to try and contain me. Um, do we need any allies? Well, you know what's funny is actually me and Gujarat are the only Sunni, um, Sunni Sultanates here in India. That is pretty funny. <clears throat> um, so if he converts some of this, we're gonna want to take that over for ourselves. He actually doesn't have any allies at the moment. He does not have any allies whatsoever. The thing is though, is if we go to war too much with Gujarat and his vassals, we will become too weak to be able to fend off Vijayanagar or, you know, Arissa or Andra or any of that. Um, Andra and Vijayanagar have actually allied each other, so that's bad. Hmm. Gujarat declared war on Rewa Kantha. It's this little dude right here. Okay. Um, there's some Sunni sultans to the north. I believe Malwa is Sunni. He's allied with Bengal, who is fairly large. Wanpur is also in the north. So we're going to want to be careful with those guys. Want to avoid... Um, getting dogpiled, <laughs> you know, if I can avoid it. We probably do have a larger army, we pro or a bigger army than Gujarat. Ming is massive. Delhi and Wanpur are the largest armies, actually. Um, Vijayanagar is a force made of 22. Okay, so it's fairly large. Alright. You know, maybe we will focus on uh, military points. I don't know, maybe. I'm thinking about it. Hmm. Let's see, Badar, a true capital for the Bamanis. Tired of the constant intrigues and the poisonous atmosphere in Gulbarga, one of the first decisions undertaken by Allah Uddin Ahmad Shah II in his youth was to move the capital of the Bamani kingdom to Badar. Cool. So this is our capital? Or it was our capital? Where was our capital before? I'm not sure. Okay, so at least we're converting stuff fairly quickly. I wish I did have another missionary, though. <laughs> that would kind of be nice. Ooh! Apparently, we have a gold mine. Let's take a look at that. Where is that? It's here. Gold mine. Cool. It's almost at 10 development, actually. Excellent. So that means we're going to need an inflation guy. That sounds like a plan. In fact, I do want to upgrade this while we have a few Diplo points available. We'll get that. Let's actually go and spend some admin. And then we'll get this up to, uh... 
We need 88 Diplo power to get that up to 10 development, so we can have some good gold. I like money. <clears throat> so, the Sikh religion should spawn somewhere here at some time or another. I don't really know when, I don't really know how, but it should spawn, so we'll just keep, keep an eye out, you know, see what happens. Um, do I want to raise the autonomy here, or should I let these guys revolt? It's five development. I don't really make any money from here anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I would rather avoid revolts, to be honest. Yeah. Probably. Get access to the sea? Yeah, I think so. Whoa! Vigianagar declared war on Gujarat. They said he conquest as their CB. Damn, Gujarat pieced out real quick. Vijayanagari conquested North Kong Khan. Yeah, so looks like these guys are going to go to war against each other. That's good for me. Let's, ho let's hope they bleed each other out. Uh, the Olima want a little more land. I will give them something. In fact, I could probably just give them this. Yeah, at least give me some taxes. Okay. Let's keep some troops on the border over here. Uh, let's find out what's going to happen. What we could possibly do is actually attack Gujarat for his vassals. Take some territory there. Kandesh is uh, a Sunni state. And Baglana is not. They're just kind of there. They're a Hindu state. Okay. So we do need to consolidate. Um, there's this little guy here of Bastar. So this little guy here of Bastar, he's willing to become a, uh, a vassal. He's Hindu. But if he's willing to become a vassal, maybe I will actually, uh... Ooh, wow, Mala, you have this dude as a vassal? Yeah, Liberty Desire is 100%. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we might invade Malwa and Gondwana. Okay, yeah, maybe we will. Let's go ahead and proclaim a guarantee on this guy. Let's see if I can get up to 100. I don't know if I can get up to 100 um, or 190 relations. I'll try it. Attracting the right people. Hmm. All right. Let's see if he'll transfer trade power to me. Prestige or money? Mm, I'd rather not lose any prestige, I don't think. Yeah. Noodle Plate is now falling on Twitch. Thank you so much. Let's go and have this guy come over here. Royal Marriage. Yeah, we can do that. Well, actually, because I'm not sure if we can Royal Marry. Can we Royal Marry Heathens? Or Heretics? Is it, is it Heathens or Heretics? No, it's, uh, yeah, Heathens. Okay. Yeah, well, I guess we will vassalize this guy and turn him into uh, a dependency of mine. Sounds good. Relations plus 51, 54, an alliance, and a guarantee would probably do it. Maybe, barely. A little bit aggressive expansion, but that'll go away as well. Uh, oh yeah, I can give him a gift too. That's right. Well, at least we're making some decent money. Let's come over here and let's uh, improve that gold mine. Okay, so how's the war going between these guys? Looks like Vigianagar is winning a decisive victory of some kind. Now, Vishonagar is running out of manpower. What I could possibly do is focus pretty heavily on military points, which I think I actually will do. We can get up to tech four and we can attack Vishonagar, although he's got a decent ruler. Maharaja Devaraya the second Sagama. Sangama. Trade dispute, huh? He's embargoing me now. But let's get this guy's vassal first before anything. Uh, looks like Maywar has declared war on Gujarat. We're going to want to seize some of these vassal states, or attack Vijanagar, or both. One of those two. We're going to want to do something. We want to jump on uh, his weakness. Let's get this guy as a vassal first. And enforce my religion on him. Got a little bit of prestige. Let's core this guy. Uh, we already have four calves, so let's just grab some inventory. I'm not sure what the combat width is. I think it's like 20 at this stage of the game. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hmm. Perhaps we do attack Vijanagar. He's actually pretty weak. 14,000 men, no manpower. 
And then his ally Andra will join, I think. I believe. Hmm. We have quite a few cores here. So he's got he's got Andra Masor. And then Vassals. Jofna is a vassal. Where is that guy? Jofna is over here. Jofna's right there. I wonder if I could pounce on his army somehow. I probably could. Let's keep an eye out for his army. Like, there's a couple of Vijanagar troops right there. 15,000 men. Those are actually probably mercenaries or something. Interesting. Oh, there's his force. Yeah, where's he going? I could totally destroy his entire army right now. Let's go to the nobility. Let's grab a. Uh, let's grab a. Let's, let's grab a general. Are you kidding me? At two zero five zero? Damn son. It's nothing. I'll take the fire, I guess. Sure. Hmm. How powerful is Andra? Seven thousand. Gujarat's got six thousand. Vijanagar has got sixteen thousand, which we could kill most of right here. This would be probably a decisive victory. Yeah, all I have to do is just put some troops in here, and that's about it. He's got 3,000 cav, 10,000 inventory. Um, Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. He's got a couple forts. He's got a couple forts. These are all of our cores, though. Perhaps I do wait until this war is over, however. I don't know. Hmm. This would be an excellent time to jump on him. Now, let's get this guy's a vassal first before we do anything else. I think this guy's gonna probably peace out here in just a minute. Yeah, we'll take all of our cores in one war if I can. And we'll probably take something. Most of these cores will be pretty good to have, but something over here maybe. Yeah, something that will permanently weaken Bijanagar. Ooh. Oh, ooh. look at that. Ooh. That's tempting. Let's grab the army. Let's get ready for this because I think we can get this guy. As a vassal in just a second. Damn, I'm gonna lose some stability. Wow, Vijanagar actually I think was defeated in that battle. Okay, so he's retreating back to his capital now. Cool, we get a vassal. Nice. Can I enforce religion? Let's go do that. Placate local rulers. Damn it, Force Religion cost, uh, yeah, 100, um, 100 Liberty Desire. Interesting. That's okay, though. We'll get some prestige. We'll make him loyal again. I'm not too concerned about this little dude breaking away. <laughs> I'd rather he be, you know, rather he be Sunni. I could place my relative on his throne. <laughs> what if I turned a vassal ship into a personal union? I'm actually not even sure if that can happen. Maybe. I guess in theory, it probably could. Let's get a couple claims here. I'm kind of looking for an opportunity to attack this guy without Vijanagar joining. I'm only got a little bit of manpower, so we can't be at war for too long. Is there a fort there? No. I wonder if I can grab Tech 4 before he does. Almost. I'm thinking about it. Hmm. Possible. Damn, those guys are seriously disloyal now. Holy crap. Uh, Vijayanagar, I think, once again was beaten in a, in a battle. Really? Nope, nope. Looks like it was another army. Never mind. Jaffna and Vijayanagar are there. Oh, that's his army. Okay. What is that? Hills. This is uh, Kandesh's capital fort. Yeah, let's take this tech 4 and then we'll attack. We should kick that dude's ass. He'll probably be getting the tech pretty, pretty, you know, pretty similarly as well. Or pretty soon as well. He's so Andra and Masur. Okay. All right, well, let's do it. Let's kill this army, I guess. We take, uh, is there a river crossing here? I don't think so. Oh yeah, this will cross the river, okay. First we go here. 
Let me go here. All right. All right, wonder, what if we destroy Andre's army first? This guy's two forts. I can't see his army though. Mm, no, we'll kill, we'll kill, yeah. We'll kill this guy over here. Orisa, one poor. Orisa could be, could be a rival. Yeah, he's over here. Okay. Is there anybody who would ally with me? Let's double check. Maywar? Your Khan Bengal. Bengal would accept alliance. Not a bad idea. It would stave off somebody like Orisa. Um, probably would not be permanent. It would not be a permanent alliance, but I'm actually willing to take this. Yeah, why not? We do have uh, relationship slots available. Sure. Let's kill this dude. Let's kill Vijanagar. Let's reclaim... I guess... Chowl. Sure. Aren't you a vassal of Gujarat? Are you kidding me? Really? I have to ask all three of the vassals for military access? It's kind of weird. Isn't that weird? I, no, no way. That does not make a lot of sense to me. It's kind of strange. I thought if you asked for for military access from the from the Overlord, damn, we just got a stack wipe. Nice. Oh, he's got some boats. Oh, you bastard. You suck. He's got a few boats out there. What happened to Andra? I thought his army would jump in here. Hmm. Um. Okay, I don't think I need access anymore. Is already locked in. Let's start some sieges, I think, in just a minute. Any forts? Yeah, we're gonna one jump on. Let's see, what do, how many men do I need for this? I'll, I'll leave like five or six thousand. No, I'll leave four thousand. Let's grab a general real quick. Oh, we actually don't have a siege leader on that. Okay, we'll swap the generals in. Uh, apparently we were attacked here by some force. We're going to decisively defeat that military. Nice, dude. Jesus. Nice, nice, nice. Let's uh, come over here. Let's get that siege right there. Should consolidate. Oh, wow. This this guy right here. Yeah, so these guys, these guys aren't going to... Uh... So let's come back here. Let's go kill that little dude over there while we're sieging this down real quick. So this guy's a siege leader, and then this guy's our regular general. Yeah, this guy's got infantry combat ability as well. Let's keep converting. Yeah, we got plenty of, uh, plenty of converting to do, you know. <clears throat> okay, so let's come on in here. Let's kill this guy who's on my fort. Ooh, wow. Wow, that's a, that's a large force. What are they up to? Holy shit. Where the hell did all these men come from? Wow. What are you saying? Um, we still have our tech advantage, so we should do battle now. We should fight now. Let's get all the troops together before we lose our advantage. Charity for the poor? Hell yeah. I want my morale of armies. Give it to me. Am I willing to attack this guy? I am. Okay, so he attacked me in this location on the siege. We're going to lose our progress on the siege, but that's okay. That's fine. We only lost a couple men. Let's kill this force, and then maybe see if we can get the, uh, the Andrans as well. We can attack this guy. Yeah, we got way more morale. He's actually got more discipline than I do, which is pretty curious. Nice. Full stack wipe. Let's go after the Masorians. Uh, that's Andra and Masor. Okay. Let's stay here for a second to replenish. Uh, this guy has taken North Kong Khan. So let's send... We're going to take basically the entire coast from him. 
The entire coast. He's got 7.9 war exhaustion. Damn. Is he murking up still? Are these mercs? What are these? Still has not taken take four. Ooh, we did get a minus one, which is unfortunate. We still take stack wipe. Wow. We stack wipe that entire force still. Let's actually kill this guy too. Yeah. Let's come back up to friendly territory. We don't want to stay in here too long. Pretty gnarly. Pretty gnarly. We still don't occupy any forts though. We're running out of manpower, so we can't stay here for too long. Uh, would I want a morale of armies guy? I would not mind a reinforced speed, dude. Come over here, reinforce for a little bit. This is still um, quite a few troops from Asor and Jaffna and Andra. Okay. Shift consolidate. Damn, son. Still a lot of troops. Look at that. 7,000 Vijayanagarian troops. I've, dude, I've stack wiped like three of these guys' armies. He's lost 46,000 men. I've only lost seven. What the hell? Damn. Nice. I'll attack him where we have flat terrain. Well, I was thinking about it, but let's come over here then. Let's go and kill these guys from Masor. Uh, let's actually find out what, what tech is Masor at. No, he's still at three as well. Nice, dude. Look at these stack wipes. This is nuts. Holy shit. I did not realize like how important tech, tech four really is. We've killed so many men. This guy's still marking up. My God. Really? These are re these are reconquests, dude. This is 42 aggressive expansion for all of that? This is a reconquest, CB. Wow, okay. Let's get like one replenishment tick. And they'll move into this location. He still is not taking tech forward. Let's uh we're gonna get a minus one, I believe. It's not too bad though. Mmm, yeah, it actually was pretty bad. We we took some pretty heavy losses. I probably could have um probably could have rolled better. Let's see if I can get this guy to peace out. I don't really want to stay here for a siege, though. I'd rather siege out Vijayanagar than anybody. Um, Masor's got low... Really? He's going to get attacked by somebody else. Alright, let's have Masor leave. Let's keep sieging down Andra. Maybe, perhaps, I could take something from Andra. I don't know. I don't have any cores or anything on him. Can I make him a vassal of some kind? Perhaps. I'm gonna try and take as much as I can. Damn, that's 19 development? Holy crap. Oh, that's what costs so much. That province, yeah. Pretty sure I need more troops for this. I need like 6,000 for that. Yeah. This guy, like, almost is going to leave. There we go. We can white piece him. I'd rather just white piece him. I don't think I want to take anything from him right now. Let's just focus on Vigianagar. That's my goal. Focus on that, dude. We're out of manpower, but we do still have our tech advantage. This guy is murking up like crazy, man. This guy's been out of manpower for a couple years now. <laughs> Holy crap. There's a renaissance. He still is not taking tech four. I'm actually willing to attack him in Goa. I'm actually willing to attack him there. We're going to need that peace deal, probably. Uh, we rolled pretty good. Yeah, we rolled pretty good. Let's take that. Let's come down here. Let's take this. Let's see. Bidri Ware. Gain two base production in Madar. Sweet. Cool. 
We still do not occupy any sort of fort, so we do need to occupy at least the capital, if not a little more. I think the capital will do it, though. <clears throat> this will make us so much money. Goa is actually a center of trade here, so... We're going to be making basically all the, all the cash that comes through from the east. It comes all the way over here to Goa. So we're making some serious cash. Let's go ahead and deploy... Yeah, I'll take 4,000. We'll put them over there. Let's keep the rest just just to hang out. Oh, fuck! Whoa, dude! He's got 12.4 thousand men. Holy crap. Where's he getting these men from? Wow, we were outnumbered. We still beat him. Shift consolidate. Let's just keep a couple mercs just for good measure. I don't actually know if... Uh, We'll need him, but let's just keep him here for a second. Let's just siege down his capital, and I think after that, he'll probably accept. Uh, almost, yeah. If we take the capital, for sure, he's he has to accept. I doubt he's got much of an ability to resist. God damn, son. Look at that, 16,000 men still. That's impressive, I'll give him that. Let's see, apparently Twitch chat says there's, a, there's an achievement that we could grab for Bamanis specifically. Let's take a look. I actually was not aware there was an achievement. Let's see what it's called. What if we unified Islam? That'd be pretty cool. I've never actually done it. It's pretty easy to do as the Ottomans, but I've never done it as any other power. A tale of two families, starting as Vigianagar or Bamanis, conquer the other's capital and have them not exist. That's really, really easy. Are you kidding me? That's an achievement? Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Oh shit, did he take tech four? Yeah. Shift consolidate. Let's see how we do. I don't know what we're going to do. I need to mark up a little more. I'm out of manpower, so... Let's actually, yeah, let's do it. Let's mark up just a little bit. Let's grab a couple men. Oh, you bitch. Fuck. Yeah, he's gonna beat me here. Alright. You bastard. Yeah, we're gonna have to spend the money on the mercs, but that's okay. I'm willing to do that. Fuck me, man. That was like an Irish. That was like an Irish, like, fuck me, man. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Alright, let's come out here. Let's see, this guy's almost, yeah, let's still, we could probably still win. Yeah, we'll be okay. Take a good look here. Ship consolidate. We actually we are making still pretty good money, to be honest, for for fighting this war. We're still making pretty decent cash. We don't replenish very quickly though. And there's nobody to reinforce. I don't have any cavalry. Then again, neither does he. Am I willing to attack this? Yeah, let's see if we can stack wipe him here. I'm actually really surprised he's still continuing this, though. He would be willing to accept this if we occupied a fort. We have to have a fort. We can't just we can't just take the territory. He won't give it to me. Are you serious? We lost more men than we killed. Fuck. You bitch. You bastard. We don't replenish a damn thing, do we? That's unfortunate. Glorious will Bamanis be. This guy's got to be out of money or something. How many mercs does he have? He has 16 mercs. Yeah, he actually has more manpower than, than he did at the start of this war. Fuck you, dude. God damn it. And we took a minus one. And we're going to actually win the battle. Amazingly. No, we actually lost. Oh my fucking god. Are you kidding me, dude? This guy's not gonna give me shit! Oh my god! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, man! Fuck. We're gonna just drive ourselves- We were winning this war just like a year ago. What the fuck? We're gonna get stack wiped here, dude. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my fucking god, bro. You gotta be shitting me on this. We don't- we don't occupy Fort. He's not gonna give me anything. Holy crap. 
Really? Really? Are you fucking with me? God damn it, Vigianagar, die! <laughs> I'm serious, we were winning until we fucking got tech 4. <laughs> fucking die, bro. We have shitty generals too. What's his general? He's got a 1-2-2. Two, two. That's like no better than ours. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we'll take some debt. That's fine. Fuck no, dude. I'm not letting him this win this war. We've we've gone we've come way too far to just give him this war. Fuck that. <laughs> we still occupy all of this. We just need to take his fort or his damn capital, and that's it. I'm for real. Like, I kind of imagine somebody else should declare war on me, though. But like, if they don't, then I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> you know. That's right, bitch. Run. Fuck you. Oh yeah, he's scared now. Really? He's gonna try to withdraw to his navy? Wow. We outnumber him two to one. And we still take more losses. Of all things. He's got no more rebels in the territory he was supposed to give to me. Wow. Wait, hold on, hold on. Give me all this. And... I think that'd probably be it. Yeah, we still need a fort, which we don't have. Mahmud Gawan. Today, a Persian merchant named Mahmud Gawan arrived in Badar seeking an audience. Cool. Oh, yeah, trade efficiency. All right. Sounds good. Uh, let's actually pull off troops. I don't want to stay here. I want to lose more men than I have to. For the love of all that is holy, let's take this fort. Let's grab two cav, just to shore up the flanks. You know, I really should make him break that alliance with Andra, shouldn't I? Might not be a bad idea to actually get that from him, if he'll accept. I don't know if he will. Yeah, I think he actually probably would. He'd probably accept quite a bit at this point, to be honest. Oh, god damn it. You gotta be kidding me! This guy's gonna attack me again! Wow! I think we're gonna win pretty good on this one, though. Finally, some good news. For real. Please give me the capital so I can uh, take these rebel provinces from you. I mean, like, I'm gonna have to battle- I'm gonna have to battle those noble rebels. <laughs> like, you already know I am. <laughs> How much debt do I have? 616 ducats worth of debt. There we go. No war reps, huh? He will break the alliance with Andra, though, which I'm willing to accept, because we can take this guy out later. Yeah, I'll take all this. These are all my cores anyway. I could leave Surat. It's not a core or a claim or anything. It's just kind of there. I do have a claim here. If I traded this for this. That's actually much more reasonable. And then again, this is only six developments. Sushirat is 19. You won't give me both, will you? No, that'd be a coalition. Well, if I reduce the amount of money... Nah, it's probably okay. We'll leave that for the next war. I want the money right now, and I actually... I kind of wish I did have war reps. No, you know what? We'll do that. We'll take this and give me war reps as well, because I need the cash to pay back these loans. So we'll do that. That's an 81 piece deal. Nice. It's pretty good. Nice. This guy should go to that, that up there. 
All right. Uh, we have a looming disaster apparently an aristocratic coup. 1457? No, I think we'll be just fine. Yeah. Alrighty, war exhaustion's gone. Okay, let's get rid of the... Well, let's not get rid of the mercenaries just yet. Let's consolidate what we have, I guess. Let's come to the capital. Want to repeat that? Are you kidding me? Holy crap! No way, dude. This guy's giving me six ducats a month in war reps? You know how wealthy this guy's got to be for that? Holy shit. Oh, that's what I thought, yeah. But still, dude, that's 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 a lot. That was a crap ton. And trade income's gonna go up. That's pretty cool. I was like, whoa, dude, that is a lot of cash. That's quite a bit. Money, money, money. I sound like Mr. Krabs. Yeah, this this should be just fine. We're not gonna we're not gonna get that. Um so the Renaissance is not going to come over here for a long time. So the real question is, what we probably should do is we should develop our capital or something. Develop somewhere that we can get the Renaissance so that we don't fall behind on tech. The question is, one, where, two, is when. Because we have a 445, 35-year-old ruler right now. That's pretty good. If I was going to develop any province for the Renaissance, it'd probably have to be now. Not to mention we have some money. Yeah, we have a little bit of money available. Um, yeah, we're going to quarter that. Are these part of states? I would like to make these part of states. I have a little bit of admin available. Apparently the Lima wants some territory. Let's take a look at what is trade. Sujarat is uh, center trade, so we'll give that to the burgers, or the, the merchant guilds. Um, hmm. cool. Yeah, we'll think we'll make some pretty pretty cool cash from that. How much money's here? Not too much. Only about six ducats. We do collect quite a bit from it, though. No, not my poor uniforms. When can we attack Andra? In uh, 1456. If I bordered him, I'd give it all to my vassal. But I don't border him. Let's actually placate this guy, because we do have a little bit of um, a little bit of prestige. That'll be good. We're actually getting quite a bit from uh, just various things around the place. Okay. Alrighty, well, um, this episode's definitely gone on long enough. We might develop for the institution here pretty soon. We'll see. So I will see you guys uh, in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this campaign. And uh, I'm excited. I've never played E4 India before, so I don't know. This should be cool. I think I think I played as Vijayanagar like once, and I formed Hindustan. That was like 10 patches ago. <laughs> that was a long time ago. So, all right, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much, and uh, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out Patreon, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.